your scream uh, and we're gonna head into the of Halloween which has some incredible toys costumes sculptures sorts of stuff on display there so it's a small museum but really cool one so we're gonna bring you inside there in just a second did want to just say we were able to live stream the Halloween uh, trick or terror panel earlier so that's up on the channel we really want to do a live stream of the Hall of Shadows, all the walkthroughs, the mazes, the monsters, uh, but the signal, despite paying the upcharge for the uh, Wi-Fi, it just like dies as soon as we go into anywhere in the Hall of Shadows. Like we can't even get like a tweet with no uh, pictures to go through from the Hall of Shadows, like literally nothing from the Hall of Shadows. So we're gonna keep trying it, keep testing it. Maybe as crowds dwindle, although the convention is very crowded. Um, big 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 crowds here people in halloween celebrating halloween uh, but as a result lots of people using the internet too i guess even the paid version so with that said let's make our way to the museum and hope that the signal will hold so we can actually show you guys stuff at the end of the day my favorite thing in covering stuff is showing things as close to real time as possible so we would have all sorts of video non-stop if uh, we can get the signal we will definitely, though, have all the maze walkthroughs and all of that on the YouTube channel. At least one of them should be up tonight and more through the weekend. But hopefully, we might get something live to work at some point. So let's head in. This incredible backdrop. These are, I mean, I would love to just have these hanging on the wall up here, these vintage costume photos. But as we look at the collection, I mean, there's just all sorts of fun, unique things. Some bring back some nostalgia, some don't. Seeing that star log down there does. But like this, I have never seen, but I absolutely love it. Costumes. Yeah. Some vintage Wonder Woman there. Huh? I don't know. Mummy's Ghost, Science Fiction, Doom of Dracula. Some old records. Hello there, James. Thrilling in chambers. So these guys I've seen before, and they are incredibly expensive. I love them. But when I first saw them, I thought, oh, maybe these are some cheap things. That was a couple years ago at WonderCon. And they are not. They are quite pricey. That poster back there, store display, some ads as well. All the blow molds. That is my most wanted blow mold right there, that guy.
some more vintage ads there. Spinner rack. I'll let the crowds go by here. It's a little easier to see some stuff in this section of the room. The Aurora Frankenstein. Model. I believe this is the same one we saw at Monster Palooza, which is just fantastic. Here's the original toy next to it, or toy size, I should say. It's even got the. All right, the Weeble Haunted House is one of my most wanted items. I love that old haunted house play set for the Weebles. We've got our Frankenstein, Ben Cooper. Then a series of spooky games, models, all here. Wolfman. Mystic Skull, Game of Voodoo is a tough one to find there. The Green Ghost Game is another one. I think it's one of like the all-time great boxes for a toy. Spooky or otherwise, I think it's awesome. Got our Dark Shadows, Chamber of Horrors. Here's the Green Ghost game out on display. You've got your Green Ghost. And then a strange change toy, The Lost World. The spinner rack there, more of those costumes. I love they've got signage like this up there. Pretty fantastic. So it's a small museum, but a fun one. Just a collection of some great items all on display in here. Next door is the gallery. We'll see if we can take a look and if signal will hold, we'll wander in there. Yeah, so a few vendors in here, a lot of art on display. This model is awesome. This is from Victoria Kuna called The Witch House. It's, most of this art in here is for sale, so The Witch House is like $3,500. Daniel Avia, the Bride Bones, two seventy five. Jonathan Fuller, painted Festers, Monsters, Zombie, five hundred dollars. Those are all from on Instagram. You can find them at the underscore Fester. I love this, the old like carnival ride, Hell's Poppin'. It's 130 for the dark ride, Rich Camino. Character designs. So this is from the Haunt Cop comp demonstration. So number have entered this competition to design 
in the haunted attraction world. And I believe they're announcing some of the winners later today, or they're having something with here's the finalist. Find more info on Haunt Cop right there. Instagram at underscore haunt underscore comp. There's some fantastic stuff. Looks very professional for an amateur competition. This museum is on the first floor of Midsummer Scream, right past Zombie Joe's. Love this guy. Selena Kyle, the candy cart. All right, so that is a look at the Museum of Halloween and the gallery here at Midsummer Scream. If you're coming out to the show, it is on the first floor here, right past Zombie Joe's, not on the exhibit hall, which is why I think we're getting a little bit of better signal, or I should say a lot better signal. Uh, we do have the Horror Nights panel coming up in a bit in the main stage room. So John Murdy will be here, creative director, uh, sharing some information about Horror Nights 2022. So we will share what we are able to there. Hopefully we'll be able to stream that and you can just check it out live with us if you're interested in that. So that starts at 5 p.m. on the West Coast. So we'll have that. And again, we'll be trying to do what we can with the Hall of Shadows. It really is the number one thing we want to share with you all from there. It's so cool. It is a full on Halloween theme park down there, uh, but we got to get signal to be able to do it. So we'll see what we do. We'll try it again today. We'll try it tomorrow. We'll keep trying it. And if not, we'll have the other videos up on the channel that will be uh, uploaded tonight and tomorrow night. So with that said, we're going to wrap up this segment here. Thanks for tuning in. All the support. We'll see you soon. See you.